In this video, we're exploring how you can make money on YouTube without making videos in the travel niche. And that is by making videos like this one and just like this one. And the reason why we're so interested in this is because according to Social Blade, these channels can make anywhere from $181 to $3,000 for the month, as well as from $812 to $13,000 for the month. I mean, these are the big channels, but it shows what is possible. And apparently this is actually possible without even having to travel or even leave the house and without even having to spend one cent. But let's get straight into this one. So basically how these channels work is that they are like top five destinations, best cities to travel to in different locations in the world. And these types of channels have been getting a lot of views. And because of this type of YouTube channel, a lot of advertisers will like to place their ads in front of their audience. So they typically earn a little bit more. So what we're going to do is look at a few of those YouTube channels quickly and then I'll get into how you can create these types of videos for yourself as well as an additional way that you could possibly generate a form of income from this. So let's get into that. One of the more popular channels is called Tor Toropia. And as you can see, they have really simple YouTube thumbnails, but at the same time, it must be effective because these things have a lot of views. And the titles are along the lines of 10 most amazing Mayan ruins. 10 most beautiful islands in Greece, 10 places to visit in Chile. And it's actually fairly straightforward. If you check out one right here, this one, 10 best places to visit in Arizona. There is an intro, and there's stock footage. They quickly run through each destination, talking about some facts in each one, having some stock footage, and then moving on to the next site. Another really popular one is Mojo Travels. And they have similar type of content with a twist. As you can see here, greatest travel mysteries of all time. How to choose the best airplane seat and the similar videos are like top 10 largest lakes in the world top 10 safest cities in the world and the structure of their video are basically the same where there is an intro to the video there's a voiceover and they use stock footage so as you can see here in some cases you don't need to use a video you can use a photo so we've established the fact that these videos get a lot of traction and they are fairly straightforward to make in terms of the different things that is happening but how do we get started what is the first thing that we do well the first thing that we do is we need a video idea and we can start right here on YouTube for this by simply typing something like best places to and this is what people are actually searching for. So it is a really good place to start. But what we can do is type another word like visit and you get more ideas specific to those keywords. So if we were to choose something here like best places to visit in Florida, obviously this might be a popular topic, which doesn't necessarily make it a bad thing to target because because if somebody can search and open this video, then they most likely might open another video. And if your video performs well, then there's a good chance that one of these videos might recommend your video as the next one to view. So let's say we decided to proceed with best places to visit in Florida. What we would need is those best places as well as a script. Now we can spend our time doing research on YouTube, on Google, getting information from one article and from another article. But we're just going to let Jarvis AI do all of the work for us. All right, so here is Jarvis. We're just going to come down to documents, new documents, start from scratch. So the title is going to be top five best places to visit in Florida. If I could only spell. I just want to make it clear it's five best places to visit and make sure output link is longer and you're going to hit compose and then wait for the magic to happen. So as you can see, it is writing this unique article for us without us having to do anything. I'm just going to hit compose again has two points and it'll stop right before the third one and so far we're going good hit compose again and we're just going to simply do that until the article is complete all right so what we can do is simply just copy these five points copy that and we're going to head over to a google doc a blank google doc paste those in there but for a video we need an intro and an outro and while we could have included that here i'm going to show you another tool within jarvis ai how we can get that done I'm going to check templates and head over to video. Where's video? There it is. And there's video script hook and introduction. The top five best places to visit in Florida. You can choose the output as three or maybe even more because this is just to get ideas for the intro. So we hit generate AI content and we'll see shortly what Jarvis comes up with. So here are the five options that Jarvis gave us. And just with quickly skimming, I can see this one looks good. So you just hit copy to clipboard and I'm just going to paste that now into the Google Doc at the top. Of course, backspacing hook and introduction. And then I can probably just connect the introduction to the points by saying here are 
the top five places to visit in Florida. And just like all good videos and articles, there's an outro, there's a conclusion. And there's actually a nice tool for that under blog. There's blog post outro. Where is it? Blog post conclusion paragraph. So you have the option here of recapping each of the points or you can just keep it generic and I type top five best places to visit in Florida. And I got three options in the right hand side here. And there's a simple one at the ending saying, have you been to any of these? What do you think about them? Let us know in the comments. I think that one's good. So I'll just hit copy here again, paste that, move that last line. And there you have it. The script is complete. Just like that. Easy, right? Now to get started with Jarvis AI and create your script as easy as this, what I have in the first link in the description below is your first 10,000 words, which you can use to start creating the scripts for these videos and see if this tool is something that you like. So check that out. Now that you have your script completed, the next thing that you're going to do is create the video. And we're going to do that automatically using a tool called InVideo. With this tool, there is a premium version, but we actually don't need the premium version to get any of this done. You can do all of it with a free version. You have access to stock footage and you can generate the video files for free. But what we're gonna use it for is a very cool feature where you can use text to video. We're gonna leave wide because YouTube videos are the wide um, dimensions and simply choose a template. You could just simply choose this one. Choose use this template. Our headline is the top five best places to visit in Florida. And it says here that you can copy your story here and they'll convert every sentence into a new scene for your storyboard. And just grab the script that we just easily made in Jarvis AI, paste it here, and we do want them to auto suggest images and videos. So you'll hit next. Yes, thank you. We would like you to rearrange the text. You just hit next and it's making the video automatically here. Okay, so the video is ready. And what NVIDIA simply did here, added in these titles automatically. You can go into each of these sections here and modify the text. And if you notice, stock footage was automatically taken based on the keywords in our script. But for some reason, if you're not pleased with the stock footage that was chosen, you could simply drag and drop something else here. And you can do that by heading, hitting the video button on this side and searching for the type of footage that you wanted to find. So if you just, I just searched for Miami and any of the stock footage that shows up here, you could choose from. Now, you need to keep in mind that some of these things you may have to pay for with the premium plan. However, if you find, if you can't find what you're looking for, then I'm just gonna show you briefly some other stock footage websites that are free, that you could download the footage from over there and just simply upload it to invideo.com. Well, let's say I wanted to change this main one. I would simply drag this footage over here, drop it right there, hit trim video to fit scene, and then click done. Now that's it, the change is already made. And what we can do is preview each of these scenes to see if they are good enough. Well, we could also change it by finding an image. It doesn't have to be a video. They would have a lot of stuff to choose from here as well. But let's say there's video content in there that you, can't, you, you don't want to use and you could not find it on the stock that was available for you for free on video. Then there's three websites that you can check out. There's Pexels, there's Pixabay, and there is Unsplash. So you can simply search for Florida and you can see all of the photos that are available for you to download and they are royalty free, which you don't have to pay a cent for. Over here on Pixabay as well, you can search for Florida Beach, for example and you can change it from images to videos. And there is, there's aerial footage as well as some standard shots as well for you to choose from. You can simply download those and then upload it over here. Additionally, you can modify the audio for the backing track by simply hitting music and search for a different category or different genre that meets the needs of the video. You can even search for something simple like, let's say relaxing. And if you, you can check out any of these tracks here. And if you find one that you like, then hit the plus sign. Ask you here to replace the background music in the entire project. You just hit continue. Yes. And as simple as that, the background track is replaced. You didn't have to find music in a different source and upload it here. You're most likely will be able to find something that you need right here. So once you're finished reviewing the entire video, you simply export it in 1080p and then you upload it onto your YouTube channel. And the idea is you simply repeat that process over and over until one of your videos gets picked up by the algorithm and then sprinkles more views on all your other videos. And of course, the traditional way is to make money from YouTube AdSense. But there's also an additional way that you can, and this is by affiliate marketing. 
Basically, people that are checking all these destination videos, they're either just interested in looking at these nice locations or they're interested in making a trip. And for the percentage of those that are making a trip, they probably will go and book a trip after looking at one of those videos. So what we want to do is make it really convenient for them to do that. So at the end of the video, you could simply have a link point into the description where you can have a link to a booking site where they can book it right then and there. And you have many options where you can make this possible. There are sites like booking.com, Expedia, and a couple others where it's simple to get approved and somewhere it's a little bit more complicated to approve. So what I went ahead and did is got approved for booking.com's affiliate program where the trust in booking.com is already there for existing and potential customers. So how it would work is, let's say somebody searches for best places to visit in Florida and they stumble upon our video, your video. And after looking at your video, there would be a link in the description. The first link, just like you see right here, where I say get your 10,000 words free on Jarvis AI, which you can if you do like Jarvis AI. But what I'm really talking about here is a link to booking.com. And then when they actually click your link here after looking at the video, it would redirect them to the exact hotel that you might have mentioned in the video or location. And let's say they decide to go into that hotel now and get some more information, look at the pictures and actually make a reservation. Then you would earn a percentage of that sale. So if you think about it, the more videos that you make, you're increasing the chances of making affiliate commissions on a site like booking.com. And it's simple to get started. You just search for booking.com affiliate program. Just follow the basic registration process. And once you're approved, you can put your link in the description, just like I showed you, and keep repeating that process to improve your chances over time of earning more money. So this way, you don't even need those 1000 subscribers to start earning from the AdSense program. You can earn commissions right here on booking.com from making these videos. So just to quickly recap, what we did is search for video ideas by choosing best places to visit. And then you had plenty other options to choose from. We chose Florida, where you can get inspiration from right here to see what works, what doesn't work. And then to come up with this script, we did that automatically with Jarvis AI, just like this. And then we used InVideo to create the video automatically by simply pasting the script in here, checking to make sure all of the different scenes are what we want it to be. After exporting that, we upload it then to YouTube. And as part of the uploading process, you have to fill out a description. What I advise is how you can put the first link in the description here as your affiliate link when somebody is actually interested in booking a holiday. And you can easily earn a commission here if somebody clicks on your affiliate link, which the example we use is booking.com's affiliate program or you can simply register for it and get specific links and place it in your description here. And keep repeating and optimizing your process there for an increased chance of success, which is exactly what I am going to do. And if you're interested in videos like this, then I created one here that is a little bit similar in terms of the tools that you use, which is conversion AI as well as in video. But what we're talking about in this one is making YouTube shorts. So be sure to check that one right over here.